Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift video. Today I'm going to be going through the new patch notes of patch 5.1. However, I have massive news. You guys remember I've been talking about the fitness and diet coaching program? Well, it's about to start. In two weeks, I'm going to start it. Let me first show you what it did to me okay first of all like this is my before picture before i started with all of this this is bad like you can see this is very 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 bad and this is my back uh you got you guys ready for it boom i made this picture today this is today look at the difference this is this is four or five months something like that here is some more look at this i got a six pack oh by the way if you if you think this is photoshop this is with bad lighting as you can see here's my six pack you can still see it you can achieve this too this is this is completely attainable and look at this more pictures like i got biceps triceps everything my chest and all you have to do is click on the link in the description or in the pinned comment you'll get a very quick form to fill in you know with your name your number and all of that it's very very quick and after you fill this in i'll reach out to you plan a short 30 minute meeting all of this is free by the way and then during the meeting i'll explain to you how the coaching works and then you can decide whether or not you want to do it. I'm telling you, this is life changing. If you've ever wanted to achieve your fitness goals, your diet goals and all of that, this is your moment. Because the stuff that we're doing now is going to be super cheap. Because first three months, we're going to do a three month program. We kind of want a proof of concept. I mean, I am already proof because it worked like a gem on me. But we want to coach a large group of people. And then after that, we're going to coach even more. But obviously, it's not going to be as cheap as we're going to do it now. So please check it out. Trust me, you're going to miss out if you don't. Um, and hopefully I'll have a meeting with a lot of you guys because this this is, is unbelievable what it can do to you. Unbelievable. Completely natural as well, by the way, just so you know. So now let's talk about the patch notes. Um, yeah, so link in the description or a pinned comment. Just do it. You have nothing to lose to check it out. So let's see. Shadow and mists are creeping over the rift. By the way, I haven't seen anything of this update. I see Jin. I see Jin. Please. Please don't, if they nerf Jin, I'm going to get so mad. I do think Jin may get nerfed though, because he's so strong. No. Okay, let's just read through the patch. Please no nerf to Jin. Um, new champions. We know Kalista's coming. Um, Wild Pass. Oh, that's actually a pretty nice skin. Not going to lie. That's actually pretty nice. Who is Braum skin? Okay. I don't really care too much about all of this, to be honest, guys. Um, I care about this. So I'm going to guess what happens to the champion before doing anything. I guess that Aurelian Soul is going to get a slight buff. Uh, I feel like they nerfed him too much. I think slight buff. Our favorite dragon in the mid lane has been gorging on Stardust and outpacing. Oh, so he's going to get another nerf, outpacing his enemies, especially in the early to mid game. These changes will make sure he's down to earth, but still able to scale exponentially in the late game. Oh my god. Stardust gained by minions and small monsters from 2 to 1. Oh, but Stardust... Gr oh. So, until 12 minutes, you're going to stack slower, because until 12 minutes... There's only going to be a cannon minion every, uh, uh, sorry, siege minion it's got now, every, every other wave. But after 12 and a half minutes, there's going to be an extra cannon minion each wave. So you're going to have one cannon minion, two, one, two, one, two, instead of zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. So early game, you're going to, you're going to stack a lot less. But late game, you're actually going to stack a lot more. Like this is, instead of three, five. So that's going to be four extra stacks per wave. 4 minus 2 is um, net worth four, 2 more per wave. But in the early game, you're going to lose. You're going to lose 1 per wave. So at the end of the day, if we reach like a 20-minute game, you are going to be able to get more stacks on Aurelian Soul. But if we have like a 14-minute game, you will get less stacks. But you get significantly more and just a little less. So this is, this is actually a buff. It looks like it's a nerf when you read this text. But this is actually a buff. Fiora, I think Fiora is going to get buffed. Um, she's just not outpacing the tanks. So let's see. We're making sure all of Fiora's abilities can flow together smoothly. Ripost can now be cast during Fiora's dash and lunge. So, oh, during your first ability, you can now use your second ability. Oh, another thing. Eid Mubarak to the Muslims. I'm so sorry that I forgot. Uh, I think today is the, is the last day, right? So uh, I really hope you guys had a nice time with Ramadan. And I uh, hope you have a nice... I think it's got... I don't know what it's called in English. In Dutch, it's called Suikerfeest. It's like called Sugar Party because they eat a lot, right, on the on the last day. So I really hope you guys have a nice time there. Um, uh, yeah, that one as well. So next like, up, Jin. I'm just going to hope he's not going to get nerfed. I really do think he'll get nerfed. But let's see. Please, please. 
<laughs> Being able to put on a good performance is a priority for our virtuoso. For virtuoso. But his damage... But his damage output has been putting a damper on it? We're tweaking the numbers so he can... So he can wow his allies and enemies alike. Oh! Baby! He's getting buffed! Oh, Jen is getting buffed! Jen is getting buffed! Jen is getting buffed! He's already so strong, he's getting buffed! Yes! Oh, Jin is getting buffed! I uh, I have a 71% win rate on Jin. 71 and he's getting buffed! Oh my god, I need to calm down. No way! Oh, he'll be so broken! Oh my god! Attack damage goes up per level. At level 15, he's gonna have 7.5% extra attack damage. Is that... Yes! Oh my god, that is insane. That is so big. That is actually such a massive buff. No way! Oh, okay, let's continue. You guys probably don't care about this as much as I do. I need to think about being a good content creator. Oh, no way! This is sick. Well, next up we got Master Yi. I think Master Yi is gonna get nerfed. He's so annoying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not gonna get nerfed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember from the video. Now you can cast this immediately. So, our favorite Blade Master has been Alva striking into tricky situations and then getting stuck. These changes will make sure he can get in and get out. So, Master Yi can now cast Meditate immediately between attacks to reduce severe damage. Okay, so you can use this to cancel a basic attack now. Well, to basic attack, second ability, basic attack. It's gonna be super fast now. And the damage reduction increases. Oh my god. This actually makes Master Yi, his skill ceiling, they're bringing it up. So Master Yi is not gonna be as much of a beginner's champion anymore. This makes it a bit harder. Because now the first 0 0.5 seconds, you're going to reduce damage by 90%. So, for example, you can attack and then when, when there is about to be a big amount of damage to be cast on you, you can very, very quickly use Meditate and then immediately keep attacking the enemy. That is honestly a good change. Third ability, yeah, and oh, I see. This, this ability now resets attacks. So, basic attack, third ability. Also making it harder now. It's making the champion harder. Reduces basic uh, Highlander. That's his ultimate. Reduces basic ability school down by 70% of take down. They're taking that away. Now it reduces meditate school down by 90. Oh, it reduces meditate school down by 90%. They're really trying to play around the meditate ability and other abilities by 70%. This is a massive buff to Master Yi. Jesus Christ, why did they do that? Oh my God, that was not necessary. Oh, this is actually, this is going to be good stuff with Master Yi. Wow. This is going to be great. Okay. Syndra. I think Syndra is going to get buffed. I feel like she got nerfed just a tad bit too hard. Oh, fix the issue where the execution indicator appears on the enemy health bar. Uh, when Syndra collects... Oh, it's just a bug fix. It's not an actual change. Talon. I think Talon is going to get nerfed even more. He's, st he's still too strong. We're adjusting Talon's damage to monsters. As yeah, yeah. He has too fast jungle clear. He's clearing them out much faster than his peers in the jungle. I believe that's his second ability, which will now do 70% damage to jungle camps, which is going to reduce his jungle clear just by a bit. So this is good. Urgot, 100 million percent nerfed. He's way too broken right now. Urgot has been sitting comfortably on the leaderboard as one of the champions with the highest win rates. Yep, yeah, yeah. Considering how tanky he can get, especially during late game, he's dealing too much damage. We're tweaking some numbers around, so he remains a great pickup if you need a tanky damage dealer, but not unreasonable to deal with. So now he gets 3.5 instead of 4.5 damage per level. So at level 15, he's gonna have 15 less attack damage. I wanna say, not a significant nerf this one. This is not nothing significant. So the damage of his, his passive, um, uh, it's still the same damage here. It skills the same with attack damage. Oh, oh, that's huge. Oh, that is huge. Oh, Urgot is dead. Yep, your Urgot is dead, guys. Unfortunately for for your Urgot mains out there, he's he's just he's dead. This kills him. This this makes him even weaker than the old Urgot. <laughs> No way. The old Urgot used to have 5.5%, I believe. Oh, no way. Yeah, Urgot is dead. You, you're not going to see Urgot anymore, guys. I'm so sorry, but you're not.
Also, I'm doing a skin giveaway, by the way. Just put down a comment under the video to enter. And give the video a like for nothing. So, oh, I need to guess. I think Vulcan is going to get... I, I, you, know, you know what? I don't even know. I don't even want to guess because I have no idea. Vulcan's new updates not only brought new abilities, but also new text to describe them. However, these texts were a little lengthy, so we've reworked the descriptions to clean it up. This first ability, uh, the passive enhances golden staff, empowering effect on attack. Every, yeah, because it made no sense what it said. So it enhances it. Increasing bonus damage by 50%. Champion take that reduce the cooldown of this ability by 2 seconds. Getting getting a kill refreshes the takedown. Refreshes it. I still don't understand what the hell this means, but whatever. Uh, the active empowers the next attack to do bonus damage. Wukong and his clones reduce golden staff's cooldown. Uh, second ability becomes invisible for 1 second and dashes forward, leaving behind the clone in his original position. It's the same. The clone moves in the direction of the left joysticks when the ability is cast, automatically attacking nearby enemies. Yes, and the clone does only a percentage damage. The clone takes 50% more damage and does not gain empowering effects. Yes, okay, whatever. I don't really care about Wukong. Zaya, I think Zaya is going to get nerfed. Even though Zaya doesn't get picked a lot, I think she's too strong and she's going to get nerfed. Zaya's mobility and damage in teamfights really are falling short. Really? Compared to other marksmen? What? I feel like she's insanely strong. I've always put her in the S tier or the S plus tier. We want to make sure her fighters are still packing a punch with these changes. Deadly Plumage. That is her second ability. Has a two second lower cooldown now. Okay. That's already significant. And it gives you 10% more attack speed now. Okay. Big buff. Third ability now does more damage. Instead of 80% bonus attack damage, 90% bonus damage. Oi, oi, oi. This is big. These are big buffs to Zaya, guys. Oh my god. Zaya mains are gonna love this. Zyra. Do I even need to guess what happens to Zyra? Zyra is probably weaker than a cannon minion right now. So she's very, very obviously getting probably a huge buff. So let's see. So annoying when people step on plants. Whatever happened to Earth Day? Now Zyra's plant will be a little tankier. Enemy champions do 40% ability damage to Thorn Spitters. Oh, that's it? That's it? Th the Thorn Spitters just take less ability damage now. That's it. They're not actually properly buffing her. They just... Okay, I mean, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we got new items. True, with all the chain. Oh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get a new item, Terminus. Total price, 3200 gold, 40 attack damage, 30% attack speed. Uh, and then attacks deal 35 bonus magic damage on it. That sounds like Wit's End, but okay. Oh, and then it has a ju 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 juxtaposition. Alternate between light and dark on hits when attacking. Light grants you 5 to 8 armor and magic resist on hit. Dark attack grants 10% armor pen and magic pen for 5 seconds on hit. Each, oh, each on hit effect stacks up to 3 times. So, you basic attack, you get, you get 5 to 8 armor depending on late game. You basic attack, you get... You get 10% armor pen. Another basic attack, another armor. Another basic attack, another armor pen. Another basic attack, another armor and magic resist. And then another basic attack, you get more that 30% armor and magic penetration again. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. But all magic damage items give you 7% magic penetration. I'm now trying to think about kill, for example. Imagine 4 items kill. 4 times 7 is 28. So she'll have 28 magic penetration. Plus, this item is going to give her another 30 magic penetration. That's going to be 50. It's not going to stack additionally. Uh, I don't know what it's called in English, but it's addi addi additively. Is that what the word is? But it, you're going to have like 45 to 50% magic penetration. We'll see. I don't know. I think even on Tristana, this looks very good. You're going to get very tanky. And you're going to get that armor penetration. You just got to make sure you can basic attack the enemies a few times. So on very, very high attack speed champions, this is going to be a very good item. No, they're removing Hullbreaker. Why? Why? Why are they... Why? Why would they do that? Ah, they're removing Hullbreaker. Ah. 
That's sad. Okay, whatever. Um, needlessly large rot is getting weaker. Blasting went is getting a little bit weaker. These are the tier two component items. So we have theme light and ruin. Okay, that's three. As as blessings wane, darkness spreads. The black mist shrouding the shadow isles expands, encroaching into the rift. This dark miasma. I, I don't even. I have no idea what all these words mean. I'm just reading it for you guys. This dark miasma not only saps the vitality of the surround. I actually do know what this means. I don't know why I said that to you guys. Saps the vitality of the surrounding plants, but also affects some player items. Ooh. Weapons charged with mist from the Shadow Isles now possess an even more destructive power, but also inflict a powerful backlash on the wielder, okay? To counter the darkness and protect the rift, followers of light have infused their weapons with benisons, enhancing them with the power of light to rival the forces of the rune, okay? Okay, so Horizon Focus has been, has been buffed by the power of light. It's now 300 gold more expensive. Gives you 10 extra ability power, no more health, five or 5 more ability haste, removed the passive, so it doesn't apply marks anymore, but now, damaging, there's this, these are new passives, damaging an enemy champion with an ability from 600 units away, reveals them for 6 seconds, that's a long time, just so you guys know. And it increases damage dealt to them by 12%. And I'm gonna assume for 6 seconds too. Oh, imagine this item on Nami. Or Karma. Like, you know, like a long range support. You throw it on a Kaisa or a Kha'Zix, they're not gonna be able to go invisible for 6 seconds. Huh? That sounds pretty broken. Focus, when hyper shot is triggered, so that is, uh, when is that? Is this hyper shot, this passive? Oh yeah, yeah, hyper shot. When hyper shot is triggered, it reveals all enemy champions, oh my god, within, within 1200 units of the target for two seconds. So this is like a giga hard counter to Evelyn, Kha'Zix, Teemo, all of the invisible champions. This, this passive is so much better than this passive, by the way. Wow, this is going to be a support item now. I want to say that this will be a support item. Something else I noticed as well, it's not giving you a percentage magic penetration anymore. You guys remember all magic damage items are supposed to have 7% magic penetration. Did they remove that? Because I'm not seeing it here. I don't know. Infinity Orb. So what, what is happening to Infinity Orb? It's now 300 gold more expensive, gives you 10 more ability power. Um, abilities... Oh, it's just a stronger item now. Abilities and empowered attacks critically strike for 20% bonus damage against enemies below 45% health instead of 35. Actually a massive buff. Completely worth the 300 gold because you're getting 10 extra ability power and you're getting this. Huge buff to this item, just so you guys know. this uh, And I don't really get why because this item was already one of the strongest magic damage items in the game and now it's going to be even stronger. Ridiculous. Harmonic Echo is getting changed as well. Oh so, oh, so it's Light Infinity Orb, I see, ah. And then Light Harmonic Echo, okay. 300 gold more expensive. It seems like the Light upgrade is just putting 300 gold on each item. So what does it do now? Moving and casting abilities, and at 100, uh, builds Harmony, yes, we know that. And at 100 Harmony, your next healing or shielding ability cast on ally restores health. Instead of 130 plus 10% ability power, now it's 135 plus 10% ability power. Okay. And... Ah, this is extra. Every 10 ability haste you have further increases the healing by 30%. You're probably going to end up with like 30, 40, 50 ability haste when you play support. Um, oh, they're only letting us know the changes here of the item. So these items will still have the 7% seven magic, 7 magic penetration. Um, is They're just letting us know the changes, not, not fully what the item is. So the 7% is still there. But yeah, this item... You're gonna get somewhat more healing from it. Um, yeah, it's actually gonna be close. It's actually pretty good. It's like very good late game, I guess. The item is gonna scale a bit better into the late game, but I don't know if it's worth the 300 gold. We'll see. Light Rift Maker. Okay. 100 extra gold only. It's not that much. 10 extra ability power. This is already a big buff to the item. I'm, I'm gonna expect they nerfed the passive actually. When in combat with champions, you gain one stack of corruption every second, yes. And then each stack increases the damage you deal. 
by 3% up to 3 stacks. Now it's 2.5 up to 4 stacks. So it's, it's going to end up doing 1% extra damage. At maximum stacks, the additional damage is 2 damage. Yeah, this is a buff. Riftmaker is also getting a buff because you're always going to get max stacks. It's, it's very easy to get max stacks. So now you're just simply going to do 1% extra extra true damage. And the item gives you more ability power. No real nerfs in this item. Light Yuma's Ghost Blade. 200 gold more expensive. So moving builds momentum, granting up to 50 movement speed now instead of 40. And when you get the full movement speed, you get 5 up to 10 armor penetration at 100 stacks. And attacking removes the momentum, but the armor penetration will last for 3 seconds. Oh my god. The, what? Imagine this on Pike, on Zet, on Talon. The moment you engage for three seconds, you're gonna have free armor penetration. Whoa! Wow! That is ridiculous! Wow! What a broken item! Oh my god! Damn, dude. Another light item, light dawn shroud. For 300 gold more expensive. So if you're if you're within 400 units of an enemy champion, and you immobilize a champion or are immobilized, reveal all nearby enemy champions for three seconds. And you do a amount you do 80 damage plus 5% of your bonus health. Now also and heal yourself for the same amount for three seconds. So you're paying 300 gold for the healing. I guess that's fine. So next up, Ruin, Ravenous Death Cap. This is the other upgrade. We have Light, and now we get the Ruin upgrades. It gives you 10 less ability power. Oh, baby. Instead of 20 to 45% uh, increase of ability power, now it's 20 to 55%. 10% more in the late game. Huge. So much more damage, actually. Oh, but now it reduces your health. Oh, my God. You're... You're sabotaging yourself on a way, like you're gonna be squishier, but you're actually, I want to argue that this is bad for the game because this is gonna allow you to one shot more easily since champions are gonna have more damage and less health, which means you're gonna one shot more easily, which means the game is gonna become a bit easier to play. So there's not as much outplaying potential anymore. So I really want to argue that this is not a good change, uh, but okay, let's read through it. Ruin Blair of the Noon King. That's pretty funny. It's already Blair of the Noon King. Um, it's 200 gold cheaper, this one actually. It now gives you 2% extra physical vampirism. And attacks deal bonus physical damage equal to 7% of the enemy's current health on hit. Melee does instead of 10, 9 now. Okay, it's a nerf. And hitting a champion with 3 attacks, drain it steals more movement speed now. And now it reduces your health. So yeah, the item just reduces your health. Infinity Edge, also 200 gold cheaper. Critical Strikes deal 205%. What? Now it's 225%. I don't know what this is supposed to mean. I think it just does more damage now. But then of course, again, you're losing the HP. Ruin Armor on Twin Guard, okay. Gain one stack of endurance every second while in combat with enemy champions. Instead of maximum of five, only three now. Oh my god, and you're you're already gonna get maximum stacks at three stacks already. So you're gonna be at the maximum so quickly now with this new item, with the new armor on Twin Guard. You're gonna gain the size, the tenacity, and increase armor, and you're gonna get more armor as well. And more magic, which is 35. This is completely broken. Ah, but it reduces your attack damage. Oh, well, this is going to be broken on Swain, because Swain doesn't care about attack damage, but on a champion like Camille or or, or Darius or Garen, you're going to have to think twice before going for this, because it's going to reduce your attack damage. Ruined war Warmox armor, okay. So now, if you have at least 1150 instead of 950 bonus health, huh? Uh, um, so you need 200 more bonus health, and I've not taken any damage during the last... Instead of 6, now it's 4 seconds, you're going to restore HP. So the item is significantly stronger. You're going to restore HP a lot faster. But you just need more health to activate it. 
and the item will just always restore 0.3% max health per second, even when you're in the middle of a fight. This is new as well. So this is a massive buff to the item. But just like the Amaran Twin Guard, it reduces your attack damage by 1 to 15, depending on your level. Ruin Sterix Gauge. Triggering Lifeline increases size, it empowers you, removes all crowd control effects on you, except for Airborne, and grants you 50% tenacity instead of 30 for only 4 seconds. But how does it empower you? It says empowers you. It doesn't really say how it empowers you, but whatever. But it reduces your movement speed by 5. 5 is not that much. That's like a 1.5% movement speed decrease. It's really not that much. So we got new... How long has the video been already? Thirty, Almost 30 minutes. Uh, we got new runes as well. Ooh, let's see. Keystone, empowerment. Hitting an enemy champion three consecutive attacks deals 40 up to 180 bonus adaptive damage and makes them vulnerable. So this is like Kraken Slayer, I guess. But I'm not sure if abilities will count too. But when the enemy is vulnerable, it increases all damage they take by 8% for 6 seconds. This is a keystone rune. Sounds like a support keystone rune. I don't know. I don't think you should go for this on a carry champion. Like on a support, you can go for it and then the enemy is simply going to take more damage. I wonder if I wonder if this item has a cooldown. Because uh, if it doesn't, then imagine a Karma hitting everyone with first ability, ultimate, second ability, stuff like that. And just all of them become vulnerable. Imagine, right? And now once vulnerable, your attacks to the target deal 60 to 20 bonus through damage. And when the target exits the vulnerable states, vulnerability enters cooldown and cannot be applied to an enemy for the next... Ah! You can only put one enemy on a vulnerable vulnerability. The item looks very good on a support champion, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Arcane Comet. I know this one from PC League. I think if you poke the enemy, it, sh it shoots a Comet on them, right? Damaging a champion with an ability? Yeah, hurls a Comet at their location. Yeah. And when the Comet hits an enemy champion, the next Comet damage increases. And the damage is 30 to 100, plus total hits on enemy champion, plus 35% bonus attack damage, plus 20% ability power. Wait, but this has no cap. So if you keep hitting it over and over and over and over again, it will do ridiculous amounts of damage then, right? Because it's it seems like it doesn't have a cap. But then if you miss, does it mi does it reset it? Like if you miss, does it completely reset everything, or or does it only take a couple of stacks? I don't know. But I I, I do know that Comet will be good on champions like Zix, Oriana, Karma, stuff like that, right? Maybe even Soraka. New Resolve one as well, Onslaught. You gain 5% tenacity plus additional tenacity based on the number of enemies alive nearby. Total gainable tenacity is kept at 20%. This sounds very, very good on a tanky champion. Very good. Like you dive into 5 people, 20% tenacity instantly. It sounds very... This, this is... This actually sounds broken. This is complete. This is insane. New domination one is up. Psychic wave. Um, the next attack after damaging an enemy champion with an ability and vice versa... What do they mean with vice versa? The next attack after damaging an enemy champion with ability. Or the next ability after a basic attack, I guess. Creates an explosion that does adaptive damage. 22 to 50 plus, plus attack damage and ability power. In a small area. Okay, so this is basically infernal, infernal Soul. This is like a mini Infernal Soul rune, I guess. That's, that's all it does. And it has a 6 second cooldown. So again, this would be very good on poking champions. Like Varus, for example. It would be very good on poking Varus. Rune changes. Domination, empowered attack. Instead of every 10 seconds, every 8 seconds, the next attack will be empowered, doing damage. So this is good for jungle clear. Oh, they changed it. Against champions only. So this is not good for jungle clear anymore. Ah, it was like the cheese rune to clear your jungle faster. But they actually, they actually nerfed that away from it. Now it only works against champions. Ah, that's sad. They removed Kraken Slayer. No way. Everyone was using Kraken Slayer. Damn. Ishtali Scorpion. What is this? An elemental magic circle has been added to the alcove in the Baron Lane. Oh, that's the thingy in the Baron Lane. The hole in the Baron Lane. The alcove, I guess. Between 2 minutes to 12 minutes, champions can summon the Ishtali Scorpion into the battlefield when they stand on the magic circle for a short time. Okay. The Stylish Scorpion uses ranged AoE attacks and assists players in pushing lanes when summoned. All gold gains obtained go to the champion that summoned it. And the Stylish Scorpion can be summoned again 75 seconds after his death. So you can just take it and it'll help you push turrets and stuff, I guess. That sounds pretty cool. That sounds pretty cool, actually, as a Baron laner. 
But I wonder how fast he'll die. Like if the enemy Baron laner attacks it, how fast can he kill it, right? Slow resist. Adjusted the interaction between slow and slow resist effects in some champion's abilities. <laughs> the slow effect from Tryndamere's Mocking Shout is now affected by slow resist. The slow effect that Blitzkrank applies to himself in overdrive is now affected by slow resist. Ooh, that's good. So, so when you slow yourself as a Blitzkrank, if you get slow resist, you're not going to be as slow anymore. There is, it's going to resist. Self-applied slow effects caused by abilities are not affected by slow resist for other champions. Ah, so it only works for Blitzcrank. Funny. Slow effects caused by fear, charm, or when the target is pulled towards the direction are not affected by slow resist. Okay. When slow is applied multiple times, slow resist will calculate individually for each instance of slow first. The final slow effect will then be calculated based on the total number of slow stacks the champion has. I guess this is just a buff to slow resist. Super long range ability display. Targets with, within the range indicator of super long range abilities, for example, Lux Final Spark, Jinx's Ultimate, Azra's Ultimate, will trigger the ability minicam. If multiple enemies are within the range indicator at the same time, the minicam will display the enemy nearest to the champion. This will make it easier to hit those ults, basically. Game effects optimization. There's more, like how much is there here? The strategy panel now opens up to the scoreboard tab by default. Okay, that's cool. Shukran. Um, quick chat messages will be generated and recommended in real time based on, uh, based on factors including but not limited to the champion you're using the lane you're in ah so so it's gonna be easier to send messages I guess fast when recommended quick chat messages are available for you in particular settings they'll be displayed in the quick chat section no more than ah, whatever it's just you get a quick chat and flash combo added a toggle for flash combo in settings that sounds pretty, sounds pretty interesting, so it's gonna make flash combos easier, I guess, I don't know. Skin, Soul Fighter Kalista, Soul Fighter Samira, Soul Fighter Gwen, I'm gonna, yeah, Soul Fighter Jin. this dude is insane. Look at this, oh my god, beautiful. Here, this is Soul Fighter Hell's Devil, by the way, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, and all of this. Even more? Um, no, that's it. Yeah, so reminder, guys. Click on the form, just fill it up. It's in the description in the pinned comment. You can have a meeting with me for free to talk about this, to see if this is going to work for you. I mean, it is going to work for you. I mean, come on, just look at this. I mean, this looks this looks unreal to me. Look at my six pack. Oh my God. Even when I look at this, like this is my body right now. Right? Like it's sick. So yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next Wild Rift video. Bye-bye.